big day. Here we go. Leather shop. We've got uh, we got to go get some new hides. I'm out of leather. Good problem, right? Uh, people have asked me, where, where do you get your leather? And I'm like, oh, the leather shop. Well, what leather shop? So I wanted to, uh, to document that. I'm driving right now, so I'm, uh, I'm a few minutes away. And I wanted to show you guys. So we we did those gray slate gray straps on a post maybe a week ago maybe not even a week ago but I need to go get more leather that was the end of it and um, I thought I'd try and document some of this so you guys can see see what it is rather than me trying to explain what it is so um, I'll be there in a minute or two and when I get there I'll give you a visual tour and I'll just kind of talk over it since I don't have a cameraman so stay tuned I will, uh, I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. See ya. In the back of the store now, just kind of looking across here. These are all hides up in these, in these bins here. Differing weights. I've mentioned it before, but leather gets measured in ounces. So you, you'd have lightweight stuff that would be more like two, three ounces up to uh, much heavier eight and nine ounce, which is what I use for my straps, my belts. So all those bins have hides in them. And then all the good stuff here on the tables. These are full sides here. And over here and then just kind of moving forward you can see this is a Latigo it's got like a nice burgundy finish to it that's the back if my hands are fuller I'd flip that over same here finished versus this which is called vegetable tan that's what I normally work with and then moving on up so there you go a little bit of flavor for what the shop looks like see ya here we are. So we got all kinds of different stuff going on here. Different weights, different finishes. This is kind of where we start. This is the hides. This is the one that's coming home with me. I check them all out, make sure there's nothing kind of funky going on with them. Here's another one coming home. The light is kind of on it, just kind of making it look a little funny, but it's a nice brown, double shoulder. Kind of think about the anatomy of the animal. That's kind of the, the cut you would you would see. Hopefully that's not gruesome for anybody. Other sweet thing about this is the back. It's already finished versus uh, like the one next to it. You can see that would require me to do some additional work to get it smooth, like this one, which is awesome. Super pumped. Thanks for riding along with me, guys. Back in the truck. Successful, uh, successful trip. Super pumped. They had some new stuff in there today. Um, I am at a red light, so maybe a little distracted. But the, the new hides in there were awesome. So there's a, some black, uh, I got a black hide, finished front and back, which uh, you saw in that last, uh, last segment. Brown hide, also finished front and back, and just beautiful just awesome I cannot wait to see what these are gonna look like as a belt and then uh, one one hide that is not finished on the back or on the front so that's the one I'll use when I get a you know maybe a quote-unquote non-traditional request like a red or a blue or you know a green anything that would be outside of those, those kind of traditional colors of a belt that you might see on uh, on a guy when he's wearing a suit so Awesome stuff, super, super stoked about it, and uh, can't wait to put, put a few belts together a little bit later today and uh, put some pictures out there. Hopefully you guys will see these on somebody, uh, well, Denver Metro probably, because that's that's home and that's where more people know me, but on somebody's waist uh, or on the website here in the next two to three weeks. Thanks for riding along with me, guys. I'll catch you later.